In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create this frosted glass effect in DV5. All right, so we're going to start from scratch. So I'm going to come over here and we are going to add a background image to our section. So I'm going to click over here and then I'm going to go to background and then click on this third tab. Next, I'm going to click on this plus button to add my background image. And the image I'm going to go with is this one right here. And then I'm just going to move myself out of the way here and click on upload image. All right, great. That's all we need to do. The next step, while we have our section here selected, we're going to come over here to advanced CSS ID and classes. And here we need to add our class. And by the way, I am using site crafter for this. It just makes the whole design process very, very easy, as you shall see. So I'm going to go in and add hero section. So what this does is it gives me responsive padding, both at the top and the bottom. And now we can start adding our content by clicking on this plus button. And then we're going to add a single row. All right. So the module that we're going to add for this design is our call to action. So I'm just going to search for call to action and then I'm going to select it. And by the way, if you haven't joined the community over on dvuniversity.com, go ahead and do that. This is a community of DV designers. It's absolutely free. So go ahead and sign up anyway. So let's continue on. So while I have this open here, I'm just going to remove a bit of text here because it's a bit too much. But of course, in your case, you can add whatever text that you want. Next, we're going to come over here to link. And for our button to show, we need to add a link. And now my button is showing. Next, I just want to make sure everything is left centered. So I'm going to come over here to text. And now everything is left centered. So as you can see, this design here is way too long. So we need to adjust the size here. So we're going to uncollapse that and go to sizing. So over here on sizing, we're going to bring it down to about maybe 40. OK, let's go with 42. OK, so I know we haven't added our frosted glass effect. So for us to achieve that, we need to make sure that we come over here to advanced, making sure you're on the call to action. Come over here to advanced CSS ID and classes. And all you need to add here is glass. So just type in glass. And now we have our design. Now, I know we can't see it. That is because our color here has taken over. So we're going to come over here to our background. So as you can see, this color here it was chosen by default. So I'm just going to choose white and then I'm going to click anywhere in here and reduce the transparency. So now as I'm reducing this, you can see that the color, I mean, the effect is now showing in the background. OK, so the next step now is to add a bit of padding around this, because right now, as you can see, the padding doesn't look great. So we can either do it manually by coming over here to design spacing and then adding the padding over here manually. But I want to make things easier for me. I'm just going to say padding dash large. Now you can see the padding has gone around my design. If it's a bit too big, you can always go for medium like that. OK, but I prefer large. All right. So now that I have this selected, the next step now is to make sure that our text here is responsive. So we're going to add SK space. So now we can see that everything looks nice and big and it's now responsive. The only thing I need to change here is my text here. It's a bit too big. So I'm going to come over here to design title text and just change this to heading three. Now the size as well, I may need to, in fact, the size is fine. I'll just leave the size as it is. So the one thing that I may want to do with this design is, as you can see, I don't have great contrast here. So I'm going to change this text here from white to black. So let's go ahead and do that. So for my title text here, I'm just going to choose my dark color here so I can read everything much easier. And then for our description text, we are also going to do the same. We need to go to body text and change this like that. And then finally, our button here, I'm going to come over here to button, use custom styles for button. And we can either make a background color here for our button. I mean, it's up to you how you want to go about this. If you want, you can go ahead and choose. I mean, a color that really stands out like that. And then we're just going to go down here to our button border. Now, I don't need my button border here. And then the next step now is for our button text. In fact, our button text is fine. So you may want to further customize this button here by coming over here to sizing, spacing, and then just making sure that your top and bottom here is a bit more than your 40 pixels. Oops. I'm on the wrong item. I need to go to the button, button spacing. Okay, there we go. 
So let me just start with, let's say 20. Okay, that's a bit too much. So we're gonna go with 10 and we're gonna add this both to the top and the bottom. And now you can see my button here is much better. Right, so we're almost done. I'm just gonna hit save. So that's our design with our frosted look. Now all this can be achieved using CSS, but in my case, I'm using Side Crafter. It just makes the whole process much easier. So this is how you can take, you know, a simple design into something that's a bit more interesting for your clients or even for your own projects. <clears throat> now I have Side Crafter on offer. It's 40% off. The link to that is also in the video description below, as well as the link to sign up for the free community for DB5 users. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care.